Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 2nd of uh, November 2021 and we have a number of very interesting news and a lot of news about climate change and the whiskey industry. Yeah, we are one day late because it was a national holiday in Bavaria. Yeah. So the first one is a cooperation with Glenfiddich and Mr. Porter, the yeah, famous uh, yeah, clothing uh, clothing trader. And yeah, they did a cooperation bottling and the bottling was matured in fresh American oak cask, ex bourbon cask, sherry cask with American uh, with European oak that was used in the Solera technique. It is limited to 1,500 bottles and yeah, should be available here and there on the international market. Then we have a project from Beam Sunturi and they're calling the project the Peatland Water Sanctuary. They're investing three million pounds into yeah, parts of Scotland where they are re-naturalizing peat areas and on 1,300 uh, acres they want to grow new peat to use in their distilleries. Now it goes on with a new distillery, the Nocneen distillery, and they're bringing out a new series or kind of the first, uh, the Quiet Rebels series. The 14 team members of the Nocneen distillery are searching for whiskies uh, of their, yeah, favorability of the individual team members. The first bottling Annabelle is from the founder Annabelle and it is limited to 4,500 bottles in the UK, Germany, France, Netherlands, Italy and Belgium. Unfortunately, no United States. Uh, it was matured in ex bourbon casks and ex Tokai casks, 48.5% ABV and it will cost around 65 66 uh, great british pounds then we have news from bonner haben and bonner haben wants to be the first uh, zero, net zero emissions distillery on isla and how they're going to do that they're going to do a biomass uh, energy plant and that will save 3500 tons of co2 per year and that will bring them down to net uh, net zero emissions and that is about 1800 diesel cars and that's much more than diesel cars or much more than cars on the whole Isle of Isla. The project costs around 6.5 million pounds and the biomass center is going to be run by their uh, mashings uh, waste and also by some forest wastes. Then we have a new study that was um, done by people who were uh, yeah, paid by Glenn Goyne and these climate scientists uh, were tasked to find the influence of the climate change on the Scotch whiskey production. And what they came up with is that due to the rise in temperatures and lower uh, rain, they, um, the barley production will be influenced and there will be a more yearly increase of cost of about 27 7 million pounds. And they also said it is possible that you have a change in taste profile over the next 50 to 100 years, but I think the taste profile will change anyway, but it will change due to the global warming as well. Then we have news from the Scotch Whiskey Association. Um, they are bringing out numbers about the emissions from the Scotch whiskey production and they uh, brought out that from 2008 to 2020 their emissions have been halved. The exact number is 53% um, reduction and the SWA has a strategy to get net zero in 20, 20, uh, 2040, so in about 19 years time. Then we have news from Bruchladi and they're bringing out the Black Art 9.1. Black Art is their high class Bruchladi whiskey with a lot of very, very good casks. This time they were matured in a lot of different casks. Some of them even only for a few weeks, but there are a lot of them. It is 44.1% ABV 
and the price will be roughly a bit lower than 500. Yeah. Next up is Johnny Walker and Netflix. The red label with the limited uh, bottle design will be in the style of the House of Money, the Netflix series. And they will have a hidden message on the bottle that you can only read in the UV, under UV light. It will be limited to one, uh, th uh, 150,000 bottles in total and it will be priced around 13, 14, 15, depends on the currency and the country. Then we have Glen Goins. There will be a Jubilee edition and it is called the Wetlands Single Cask Release. That is uh, the Wetlands facility at the distillery will be celebrated and they have the 10 year anniversary. And that is a facility that is uh, using the liquid wastes from the distilleries. Part of the revenue made from this um, single bottling will go to the Wildfowl and Wetlands Trust. Yeah. And then we have news from Diageo. Diageo is having their water certification at the distillery. There are 11 distilleries near the um, River Spey and they are getting an international water stewardship certification. They are using less water than usual and they have standards that they use uh, extremely few water and they don't heat it too much when they give it back to the um, to the river. And the 11 distilleries are Ochreis, Ben Rinnes, Cardew, Craigmore, Del Deloane, Delwini, Dufftown, Glendullen, Glenspey, Nockendu, Mortlach. I've been to one or few of these distilleries and they had to change processes and they had to upgrade and that way they could reduce their yeah, production water that they need and also water that they need for the whiskey. They can reduce that and have less impact on the environment. The last news is from America and that's from Michters. Their 20 uh, year old Michters got, um, got um, yeah, awarded to the, from the Drinks International to the most admired American whiskey. It's 57.1% ABV, 20 years old, and it costs 750 US dollars and is only available in the United States. Yeah, that was it for this week. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.